Okay, well, gonna, yep, I'm going to start now if that's okay with everybody. Yeah, you want to go ahead, Bobby? Yeah. Sure. Um, well, welcome everyone to the Hyperledger Meetup. Um, this is the AI FAQ uh, lab. We're discussing the um, new reformed lab, how it got created, and where it's going in the future. Um, next slide, please. So, again, this is a Hyperledger Foundation Meetup. We abide by this antitrust policy. Um, and a code of conduct. Uh, so if you take a moment to read that over, just to know that everybody is welcome in creating a safe and uh, welcome environment for the community. So I'll give you a minute to read that. Okay, next slide. I just want to give um, everybody an idea of what's going to be happening. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a current community event, the mentorship program that is just starting. Um, I'm going to introduce the team and give you a little overview of the AI FAQ project. Um, that's really brief. Um, and then we're going to go right into a demonstration and then talk about some technical topics and then open it up for questions and comments. Um, so. We could go to the next slide. We're going to introduce ourselves. I am Bobby Mascara. I am involved in the Hyperledger community for about six years now. Um, I started as the chair of the Learning Materials Working Group, and then I was a member of the Technical Steering Committee, the Technical Oversight Committee, and I um, was the chair of the Documentation Task Force, which is where all this started from. So that's why um, I'm here to discuss this. And next slide, I'll let Gianluca introduce himself. Yes, thank you. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Gianluca Capuzzi. I'm a software engineer. Uh, I was a mentee of the last uh, Hyperledger Mentorship Program uh, in the 2023 edition. And also, I got a PhD in, in AI and below my LinkedIn um, link. Chapur's next. I don't know. Um, uh, hi, everyone. We're back to uh, the slideshow, not the presentation. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I was unmuting my mic. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> hi, everyone. My name is Tripur Joshi, and uh, I'm actually a very big blockchain enthusiast. And uh, I worked with uh, worked as a Mentee in Hyperledger uh, Documentation Task Force, and after that, we got into AI Task Force, and from there, we uh, were able to start this new project, AI FAQ project. And uh, it the journey was really amazing. Bobby is our mentor, and uh, having great developers with us like Jen Luca. So uh, it was a really uh, amazing experience, which is still going on. And I hope uh, I will see more people joining us from this uh, meet, meet. And uh, uh, if you want anything you want to ask about open source or uh, anything related to research in blockchain area or in AI, please reach out to me in through my LinkedIn. That's all from my side. Great. Thank you. <clears throat> So a little bit about the project um, and where it started from. So I had mentioned that I was the chair of the task force for documentation. And this the task force started about a year and a half ago. Um, and two things were um, coming out of the community. Uh, one was everybody was talking about the metaverse and everybody was talking about AI. So at the documentation task force, uh, we were looking into how those two new technologies could enhance the documentation support for the community. One of the first ways was the the Hyperledger library, which is a metaverse library where it stores all the current information for all the different projects, tools, and libraries. Um, and then the, the next way was AI and how that can help. And that obviously could help with standardizing and, and templating a lot of the um, documentation that comes out of the community, making it easier for everyone to create high quality documentation. Um, but then the other area that we were looking at um, where Jan Luca really stepped up was um, having um, 
these chat bots become um, almost not privatized, but um, it, it's the quality of the information going in. Um, and we were looking into how you can guarantee your community information is what you want it to be. Uh, and I know in the news and all um, all over the um, newspapers and, and news feeds and YouTube channels are people discussing where um, all of these uh, companies like the chatbots got their um, information from and was it copyrighted? Did they steal it? Uh, is it is it correct information? I mean, what is going into these things? And it's really an, a big unknown. Well, Gianluca um, and the team came up with a way to solve that problem. So again, we are open source. Everything in the Hyperledger community is open source. So out of uh, the mentorship documentation program that we did in uh, 2023 came this AI um, task force, which has now um, applied for and is a Hyperledger brand new uh, project in the labs. So the way things kind of flow in Hyperledger is this particular project, a task force started, needed help, applied for the mentorship program to get um, new eyes on it. Um, and the mentors came in, they worked um, through the summer last year. Um, and, and, and looked at that and at the end had quality code to, to put up into a Hyperledger lab, found a lab stored, and now it's in the Hyperledger community as a lab, which means anyone can come help and join and help develop this open source tool for the Hyperledger community or any community. So the tool itself came from the mentorship program. And this year, We've also applied for another mentorship uh, program to support this project and help develop it out. And it's open to anyone. Um, more information, like Trapor said, please just reach out to any of us at any time um, and we'll be glad to fill you in. So right now it sits as a Hyperledger lab, which um, hopefully uh, will get enough support from the community and enough uh, interesting uh, developments coming from it that it will go from uh, lab to incubation uh, which means that Hyperledger supports it more in its um, community landscape um, and eventually a Hyperledger project, which would be awesome for uh, Gianluca and the team. So basically that's where the project started and how it's developed. So we have this AI chatbot, um, a quick overview of it. It is support uh, for your frequently asked questions and your documentation. So um, we will show you how it's two parts. The first part is the uh, information that you program in. And then the second part is the information that you want to, to get out of the information you put in. Um, so this open source tool lets you uh, put in your company's uh, documentation, your GitHub repositories, your frequently asked questions, uh, stuff from your Discord channel. You get to put in the information um, through this code that Luke has developed. And then you can query it and get your, your uh, questions out. So moving along, Trapor is going to give us a demonstration. And then uh, jean Luca is going to show us a little bit. Oh, I spoke to this slide already. So it's basically an open source initiative to help uh, with extensive documentation so that you can have frequently asked questions answered uh, correctly right away. Um, and when you open up your documentation to the community like this, it ensures it's going to improve because trust me, if you have any kind of uh, forms on any kind of books you've written, people will let you know if you have a mistake. Um, so it's constantly improving and innovating. Um, and it's friendly and it's easy to handle so that if your company wants a personalized FAQ, this is, you know, please join us, help us, you know, let this grow and develop into the project that it could be. So with that, I will turn it over to Tripur. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> so starting from uh, demonstrating AI FAQ, uh, let me share you. Currently, uh, we are doing it from the uh, Google Collab and uh, on Jupyter Notebook. So this is our GitHub repository. I will uh, share the link in the chat box. And uh, so if you want to uh, test this out, you can do it on your own by going to the readme file. And then uh, we have mentioned everything. Then uh, Januka has written a Medium blog on it where you can access all the things, uh, Jupyter Notebook and 
everything that you want to get uh, where we have explained each and everything about how things are here and here is the google collab notebook link for you if you want to go on it and want to play around and uh, we have also mentioned uh, in the uh, readme file how to uh, uh, like uh, add your link like we are currently using iroha for iroha for you know uh, example as an example you can insert your own documentation it's very easy we have shown every each and every step on it and with um, images and so if you get stuck we can uh, we also uh, like if you start running this you will get ganuka's um, email id so you can ask there and uh, so i have already set it up so that i won't waste all of your time so we just have to install um, some packages before uh, going further and uh, which i have already done then we will uh, other dependencies importing dependencies then uh, moving forward here uh, we have mentioned the read uh, read the docs of iroha and uh, here we are taking uh, from here we are taking the documentation and whatever is mentioned in the documentation we will able to answer it like whatever question we will ask them uh, the ai will answer us and uh, so this is what it's currently looking like we are working on the version 3 of it so hang tight and um, uh, let's start by asking a like a very simple question like what is hyperledger iroha Uh, connection error. Just a second. Sorry, I think you are using uh, the version, my version, which is working with Linux main um, distribution. So oh. you can. I think this okay. was the one I was working. Okay. okay, having some problems here. Just a second. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm starting once again because it. Yeah, you, we. If you want, I can I can share my screen, and you can use the same uh, with. Um, With Iroha, yeah, can, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you can use the same with Iroha. Um, okay, let me share the screen. Yeah, this is the the same installation. Um, okay, I can start. Yeah, we can also use um, a link um, outside the Google uh, Colab. And um, yeah, the, the uh, first uh, this is um, um, I'm using the um, Linux Mint uh, read the docs documentation. Uh, so the first question could be, what is Linux Mint distribution? Okay, and the the system uh, is an open source community driven Linux distribution based on Ubuntu, blah blah blah. And the system, uh, the knowledge base is that one. I started with that link inside the Google uh, Colab notebook here, but. The, the the first the first um, example the um, version which uh, you found uh, on uh, GitHub repo is using Iroha um, uh, Hyperledger Iroha. So uh, we can um, try with another question like how to install uh, Linux Mint. Okay, 
uh, to say, you know, you can follow the step of line installation section. This section provides a guide, blah, blah, blah. There is uh, some links which we can use. So the, mm, the, advan the advantage is to have the system which replies to question, um, avoiding read lots of uh, documentation. So sometimes for user, but also developers uh, can access the documentation um, the, without reading all documents. Uh, so we can start to use the system um, uh, asking questions to, uh, to the chatbot. And so for Tripur, if you want to check the same, now I can change, I can change using IROA. We can use the same link. Now I will, yeah, I will run that system. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you can do the same if you want. Uh, I will try to continue with the, the presentation. Okay, and uh, after that, you, when you are um, ready, you can uh, also stop me and try another, so to, to have another demonstration if, uh, okay. if you want. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and I want everyone here to uh, suggest some questions uh, that they want to ask from the AI FAQ uh, from the bot, and we will uh, use them for our next demonstration so that uh, you can have a real time uh, interaction with it. So please feel free, uh, feel free to comment your uh, questions in the chat box. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tripur. Thank you, uh, Bobby. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, so let's start talking about use cases. The, the first one, user developer documentation is our uh, use case. And uh, so the, mm, we, we can have a, a chatbot which replies to our question uh, about documentation, uh, but also other companies are investigating um, these the technologies. Uh, for example, uh, uh, another um, use case can be the customer service. Uh, I found a um, LinkedIn post on that, and there are uh, some companies. There, uh, there is a, a list of, of that. Uh, Amazon, Sephora, the airlines, Bank of America are using this system, are investigating um, to uh, take advantages which uh, which uh, which are for example 24 hour per day availability seven days per week because the system um, uh, don't require uh, people so can run um, every time and also uh, for immediate accessibility because people uh, do not wait in long phone but immediately can access to the, the service. And um, sometimes when we uh, ask something to people on phone, it requires to um, search something, read. But in that case, if we have an AI system, we, have the, we can have the response in real time or in a very short time. So the, the system, that system can reduce the response, the response time. And why open source? The, uh, the main reason is to preserve data privacy, uh, data privacy and security, because we can host on premises uh, uh, if we have sensitive data. But companies and communities, organizations always have uh, sensitive data. So hosting our system in uh, on premises, so in our service servers, we can preserve the, the privacy. And also uh, for performance, because recent research um, allow open source model, which can run on consumer single GPU PC. We can talk about that. Uh, also, I do not avoid to mention ChatGPT, but ChatGPT, it's 
uh, is using is running on a very strong server we know and also costs because if uh, user the uh, user requests um, are um, are very high um, so to to save costs we have to install system on cloud or in our server um, Open source allow us also to improve our skills uh, or skills uh, about our uh, collaborators, our uh, employees, because they can ask all the knowledge, also the code. And um, open source also uh, produce high quality and flexible uh, system, because the, a large community can check, test, evaluate, maintain, improve the source code. And also we can change uh, the system uh, also in a custom way. I also I found uh, a very interesting um, article from uh, Gartner, which stands that to preserve privacy, um, security, to assure security, uh, uh, it's important to apply DevOps uh, feature in AI models. Um, and th in this way, in the future, companies can trust to AI uh, system. So it's very important to apply this feature to, um, to AI, AI system. And open source can help us to do, to do that. Uh, now, some technologies used uh, by um, open source. Uh, this is a link of a um, um, research paper which use uh, this technique, low rank. We know that um, AI uh, knowledge is uh, uh, generally uh, lots of metrics <laughs> which represents the weights of neural networks. On the left, uh, on, on the left we have the um, matrix, a, gen uh, a genetic matrix, which is D times D. So it's very high matrix, but we can use a trick in, this, in that paper, the authors use a trick to uh, have the same matrix um, represented by two smaller uh, matrix, A the elements plus B elements is less than the blue one. Okay, it's an approximation, but, but good uh, performance. And in research paper, all the results are, using, uh, um, are obtained with benchmark data and public access. Um, okay, but also the representation of numbers, because we know that the weights on um, um, neural networks are normalized. So our number between zero to one. And generally for decimal, decimal data we use in, in computer science, we use uh, 16 bits or 32 bits or 64. But in, with a small number, this is a trick to use only four bit. In that case, we save a lot of memory. So quantization plus low rank save a lot of memory. And also the techniques for the training stage. The second stage of training is the fine tuning. It's um, uh, as a good performance um, in in the left solution is like ChatGPT, which used human feedback. But um, uh, as mathematical results, um, we can avoid to use human feedback, which is very, very expensive for time, but also uh, uh, for money uh, and, and so on. So in our system, this is the, the last uh, last slide um, about the technical um, uh, result. Uh, we use uh, RAG, 
retrieval augmented generation, which uh, means that we have on the bottom right our pre-trained model, and uh, for our for our cost context, we use uh, uh, some knowledge sources, which can be PDF files, uh, websites like uh, read the talks documentation, but also GitHub issues and pull requests, uh, Discord conversation, and so on. So system. Um, um, reply using the general AI model with context, our context data. Uh, which are the, which is the current architecture and which are the current data flows? So the system has two steps, two main steps. The first step is to uh, create the knowledge base the second, in the second um, workflow, user can ask question to the system. So we use the well-known Langchain open source library, which read um, uh, documents and split and chunk, send that chunk of documents to uh, an embedding uh, model, which returns vectorized chunks, means that can use distance uh, search as similarity search. And uh, last step about the um, uh, ingestion flow, uh, that data uh, will be stored inside a vector database. Now the system can um, provide the user interface for um, to the user, user can ask question, question uh, will be sent to the, the system, which um, again, uh, send text messages to the uh, embedding uh, model. We return with the same metrics, uh, the vectorized messages, which uh, will be sent to the uh, database and returns using similar to search, the retriever text chance. Now model can work how using the query, which is the question from user, and the retrieved uh, text chance, uh, and respond, uh, can, can send the response to, to the system. Now the system can show the response to, to the user. So two data flows, the green one the, for, to build the, the knowledge base, and the blue one to, um, for the run, to, to uh, reply to the question uh, to, um, from user. And for the future, if AI FAQ team, what want to do? Uh, now we want to build a prototype, which has new feature, features. One is uh, a modular architecture using container, which can be installed on-premises or on cloud the same architecture um, and which has a standard graphical user interface using uh, JavaScript um, framework like React.js, AngularJS, we, we are deciding. And um, one activity can be related to uh, the next, um, the Hyperledger um, Mentorship Program 2024 edition. And clear, we want to install, decided to install on-premises or GPU cloud with new feature, uh, preserving data privacy uh, with uh, security and reliable system. And also uh, with DevOps um, feature, like con continuous integration, delivery and deployment. For example, if we, we want to um, change the model uh, or improve the model, I uh, want to add new knowledge to the database, the, um, that activity uh, will be transparent uh, to the user. About costs, this is the first, very first study of the cost. Um, on the, the blue line is the cloud solution. 
and the red um, line is the on-premises solution. Uh, on, when if you use a cloud solution, we um, do not buy uh, hardware. Uh, on the other side, if you use on-premises solution, you have to buy uh, a strong server. Uh, we can also talk about um, the which uh, what does it mean strong server? So we can start um, with a uh, like um, high cost, but after some months you uh, you have to pay. Uh, we have to pay only for the power electricity, and so um, the on premises is uh, cheaper than the cloud. And uh, this slide um, show uh, an, an estimation of annual costs after one year. On the left, in cloud solution, if we spend $2,000 per month and we, we see, we saw um, Google Cloud, but also AWS Cloud, uh, this, the, uh, this, the cost is similar. After one one uh, one hour uh, one year, we have um, uh, twenty four thousand uh, dollar. On the other end, uh, on the right, we have the on premises um, cost. We have to buy uh, um, a server and, and also pay two hundred dollars or two hundred fifty dollars per month for the electricity cost and. We have more than uh, ten thousand dollars, but less than the um, cloud solution. And so the question: How AI FAQ team can test the system? Can go ahead? There are also cheaper solution. And the cheapest one is to use the on-demand. Not only Rambod, there are several um, uh, providers. Uh, which um, uh, where we, you can use um, an on-demand um, server and it's very uh, cheap because uh, less than two dollar uh, per hour and this is a very strong solution 80 gigabyte of uh, GPU um, memory but we need uh, I, I think uh, 24 gigabyte, so less than two dollar. And uh, oh, um, now we can talk about the mentorship program. I'd like to pass the. <laughs> uh, I'd like to ask help to Bobby if uh, she wants. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so the mentorship program, again, it's a great opportunity. And that's how I met Jan, Luca, and Trapor was last year through the mentorship program. Um, they uh, joined the program as uh, non-compensated because uh, there was one person who was compensated who did a fabulous job for us, um, but was more into the documentation. And as this morphed into the AI, uh, Jan, Luca, and Trapor came with us and have been working uh, really hard on this, and I'm very proud of them. We meet every Monday in an open call that can be found on the Hyperledger public calendar um, on the Hyperledger wiki page, which is wiki.hyperledger. Um, and you can find this project under labs, and you can find the meeting times under the calendar of public meetings. Um, so in the next, I guess, two weeks, uh, the TOC will decide which projects are going to be sponsored under the mentorship program. And I'm confident ours will pass and, and make it, uh, fingers crossed. Um, and then it will be open for people to kind of apply for uh, the mentorship program. And again, there is a, a paid uh, component to that, uh, but we also do love anyone else who just wants to learn about it and volunteer their time um, to uh, join us as well. Along with that, we're looking for companies to uh, adopt this technology and help us sponsor this uh, initiative um, by becoming, uh, anyone who is already a member of Hyperledger is more than welcome to join the meetings and, and help us with the, the next couple steps. Um, so if you have any questions about the mentorship program, 
you can just go to the wiki page and type it in the search engine and it'll give you everything for the 2024 mentorship program coming up. It is not just our initiative for the AI FAQ, but there's other opportunities in the mentorship program available. So do not miss an opportunity to learn about uh, the newest technology coming up uh, in the next session of the mentorship program. So when okay. I think Thank you. that's it for that topic, did I leave anything out? Thank you, Bob. I, um, I don't know if Tibor wants to is yeah. Okay, I if you want to I'm share ready. screen, yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, you can. Okay, and uh, I do got some questions from everyone to ask from the bot. First, we have Bobby, and uh, let's see how it will going to respond. Uh, everyone can see my screen, right? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. It will take only a few seconds. I guess this could take some time and uh, if till then if anyone has any questions for Jan Luca uh, regarding the presentation, uh, any doubts, uh, they can unmute their mic and ask directly. Oh, here it is. So how do I create a bootable DVD and to, uh, we got the answer for it? Okay. Uh, what are the uh, what are the system minimum requirements for installing? So we didn't specify which system we were talking about. If we will uh, again ask it and mention uh, about Iora, and then it can give us uh, an answer for installing Iora. <clears throat> It's always my first question when I'm installing it. What are my minimum requirements? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I will try to, to reply to question after the demonstration. Yeah. Uh, it takes some time because it you know schemes through uh, through the whole documentation, and then it gives you the appropriate answer to it. Okay, we got it. So what are the minimum requirements? Helpful answer according to the official documentation. The recommended minimum specifications for a 32-bit systems are this. So basically, it will answer you. Uh, and for the specification of 64-bit system are these. So this is how uh, we do it. And the one we, that we asked for is here. So moving here. Yeah everything like uh, all those questions that uh, like frequently got asked like how can i install iora on mac so some specific questions got up and uh, for our question we got a answer is to install iora you need a 22 gb ram and 34 bit cpu and all that again we have one uh, more questions that brad asked that was is the solution based a database solution. So 
let's check that out hopefully the uh it will answer in much less time like okay 70 seconds So here we got the answer. Based on the given material, it is clear that the knowledge base is not a specific database solution. While the material mentioned a knowledge database, uh, knowledge base as a potential resource for finding solution, no specific database solution is mentioned. It is possible that the knowledge base could be implemented using any number of database solution depending on the requirements and the constraints of the particular system being developed. Therefore, it is uh, it would not be appropriate to infer any specific database solution is being used or recommended based on this given material alone. So here is the demo. Simply, uh, I answered everyone who asked the question in the chat box. So <laughs> someone mentioned, Varun mentioned, lol, few is too much. Yeah, it uh, sometimes take time. Uh, it totally depends upon like how fast I computer is working so that's that and moving back uh, to the presentation uh, any questions oh. regarding uh, the slides that were given yeah okay if i can try to reply to some question in the in chat yeah because there are okay um uh, okay, is the knowledge base a database solution? Yeah, the um, yes, is a database solution. Uh, I also use a, uh, I tried different solution. Uh, uh, now I'm we are using uh, Chroma DB, uh, which is a SQLite solution, but also um, I see Postgre. SQL uh, solution and other kind of the standard database. It's, it's a, a standard database, but um, now there are uh, several solution um, ad hoc for this um, this application. So in the future uh, we will see uh, vec database dedicated to vector um, DBMS dedicated to, to vector uh, database. And also another question is, uh, okay, to, to, I think um, excellent summary on the cloud West on-premises cost. Uh, yes, we investigated uh, the cloud solution, um, trying to compare the on-premises and cloud. Also, I found uh, several articles on um, the ChatGPT. API, I didn't mention here because the, this is a presentation um, with focus of uh, open source. And uh, the result is if the, the number of requests is very high, the cost will, be, the system will be very, very expensive with ChatGPT. If we talk only about open source, the um, on-premises solution required to buy the server, obviously, but uh, the um, guarantee the, the privacy and also the monthly cost uh, is will be uh, cheap. So will be the, the best solution is the, the, um, the selection on on-premises in our uh, hardware. Uh, in my in my opinion and uh, too much yes too much okay uh, i have also um, an article um, before uh, if i can share the screen yeah a this is bit. It. yeah okay thank you uh, found it's very very recent uh, re research result are uh, in like uh, that one in that case uh, researcher show how to fine tune 
the system, which is very expensive activity, using an RTX X um, GPU with uh, 24 um, gigabytes of memory. Is it the cheapest solution? It's very the cheapest solution. Is an article published uh, this, on on March the, the uh, this month, and so uh, any I think uh, open source community is um, focusing in um, this goal to um, try to have a lightweight models which can be used in uh, consumer uh, hardware. Um, so, and also there are some, uh, some other results to use um, cheaper hardware. And uh, I don't know if the, uh, any other question about system. I guess no more questions. So uh, okay. let's move forward with the presentation. Yes. <coughs> if you want to share the screen. Yeah, OK, you, you can share the screen. Thank okay. you. Walter. Yeah. So. Moving forward, we have how can you connect with us? And uh, please join the Discord server of Hyperledger Foundation. There you will find a channel uh, named as AI FAQ, and you can message us there and ask any questions if uh, you come up with anything uh, later on uh, regarding the presentation or how you can contribute in the project. And uh, regarding anything, the, the current available version is uh, available on GitHub, which we, I have shared on the chat box. Also, the Hyperledger Wiki of AI FAQ. Uh, the link will be shared in the chat box as, as well. And uh, these are some useful useful links that we have used uh, while creating the presentation and the technical part of it. So these are will also be uh, in will be in the chat box if you want to go through them in the depth uh, and you want to ask any questions can you guys linkedin is also in the chat box and how you can join us is you can join our public meetings on monday morning so basically if you go to the hyperledger uh, foundation uh, wiki page there you will find the public calendar and there will be a public meeting of ai faq every monday morning and you can join us there and uh, thank you everyone for joining us bobby i would like to give you the mic here to yes, say I want to thank, words thank you chapur and jan luca for this great presentation um again there's so many use cases for this that uh can come out of developing this and i look forward to seeing everyone on monday um i'll talk to them any other questions please ask them now Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks, everyone.